winter's evening in 1971, a woman named Veronica Bromley was at home with her children cooking, whilst her firefighter husband was out at work. All of a sudden, the saucepan she was cooking with over the stove burst into flames. As she tried to extinguish the fire, the kitchen door swung open and in walked the tall, uniformed figure of her husband. The flames abruptly went out and her husband vanished. Veronica went through the kitchen door to check the hallway and shouted up the stairs, but there was no reply. As she entered back into the kitchen, she looked up at the clock. It was two minutes past six. Puzzled and unnerved by it all, she asked the children who had been sitting at the kitchen table the whole time if they had seen their father. They said no, that the kitchen door had been shut the whole time until she opened it. Later, that same evening, Veronica had a visitor from the fire department. Her husband had been tragically killed in the line of duty. It was later revealed the time of his death was six o'clock, about the same time Veronica saw her husband walk through the door. Veronica never saw her husband again. That is, until her elderly years, when once again her husband appeared before her. But he was not dressed in uniform, he was dressed in a black suit. A day later, at the age of 83, Veronica passed away. Did her husband appear before her at his own death? and pre-warn her of her own. One winter's evening, four weeks after her elderly father's death, Letitia Miles entered her parents' bedroom to sort through her father's belongings. She turned on the light in the centre of the room, underneath the ceiling light, she saw a full-size image of her father. It appeared to be made of dust particles, his face glistening like jewels in the light. He was wearing a long blue dressing gown, which her father often wore around the house on cold nights. Shocked and surprised, Letitia instinctively turned out the light, thinking her eyes must be playing tricks on her. But after a few seconds, she turned it on again. The image of her father was still there. She called out to her mother, who was downstairs. When her mother walked in the room, she gasped with alarm at the apparition of her late husband standing before her. She walked towards it with her arm extended out to touch it. As she did so, the particles of dust broke up and dispersed around the room before fading altogether and never to appear again. Moments later, they found a key inside the pocket of her father's blue dressing gown. It was a key to a small metal safety box. Inside it was a sole letter expressing his love to them both and not to be sad at his passing. A young man arrived at a hotel on the south coast of England. It was a place where he used to visit every year with his mum, dad and sister when he was a child. He hadn't returned to the hotel in almost eight years, but he managed to get the same room his family used to stay in. It was a Sunday evening and raining. He decided to relax on the bed in his room. He closed his eyes, but after a short while, he felt another presence in the room. 
he slowly opened his eyes to see his sister, who had died a year before, standing with her back to him. He sprang up from off the bed and called out her name. His sister slowly turned round. The man walked towards her. Her face was just as he remembered her, smooth and pretty, but he noticed a red scratch mark under her eye. He reached out to touch it, but as soon as he did so, she vanished. When returning home, after his short vacation, he called in at his parents' home and told them of his experience. When he mentioned the scratch mark, his mother became emotional. She explained that when she visited her daughter's open coffin before her burial, she lovingly caressed his sister's face, accidentally scratching her with her wedding ring. She had never told anyone of this, not even her husband.